everyone, I'm Honeywell and we're playing Surviving the Aftermath. We're starting a new environment with a 100% difficulty uh, rating because they made some changes with the colony update that I was curious about. In order to get that 100%, we need to change one of our settings. We need to opt for uh, the barren wasteland. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Everything else is still the same. And here we go, 100% difficulty. Now, there's another option that I'm curious about here. You could also go for, it's a tough road to walk, but never unfair. Uh, this one also gives you 100% difficulty. Um, but just for comparison's sake, we're gonna go ahead and stick with the number three option, uh, suffering or success. And let's do our usual color and our torch. We'll continue that, sure. Um, these maps are pretty much a uh, throwaway. I doubt we'll take this map to completion. I'm really just interested in playing the first few hours, but we'll see. With our last uh, colony, everyone was stuck running in place, which should hopefully be fixed now with this latest patch, so we might revisit that one. Uh, but judging by uh, the likes on the last video, you guys are pretty much done with that playthrough anyway. So maybe not. We will see. Or maybe we'll save that map to look at future updates. I don't know, uh, but we'll see. Uh, right now, uh, we have this map. And there's two options that they have now uh, that they seem to have. They seem to have a moat outside of our gates or these canyons outside of our gates, which kind of blocks off the entrance to the colony and provides a choke point. I really like this one, so I'm glad we got this. Our build order is the same um, food, water, and shelter. Then we'll get our metal and plastic coming in. Once that's in place, we'll build a first aid tent and open the gate. We went over all of this in multiple episodes in our last colony, uh, so nothing has changed except for the planning. The initial startup takes just a little bit more consideration uh, because we need a place to grow, and it looks like we have a lot of a lot of area to work with over here so that's pretty encouraging we have this dark green section right here which might be good for water or not eh, not that great uh, but I'm going to do a little bit of planning and bring you back when we're ready to start and here we are I thought I would bring you back in the middle of my uh, my little planning phase, uh, just so you could get an idea of what I do. Now, this probably, it probably took me a good uh, 15 minutes or so uh, to get to this point. The first thing that I do is earmark um, ground for uh, four large farms. And I do that just because I know the uh, dimensions of the large farms are 10 by 13. So I use our small uh, crop fields, which are five by seven, uh, to earmark that. And you can see I have this out. Uh, all of these roads, all of this area inside these roads here are is gonna be large farms. Uh, I do that because you can only place wells on fertile ground. Um, so if I pick out so not thinking if I just plunk a, a well here because it has like a nice um, 11 water production, uh, that's gonna interfere later on once we put in crop fields. So I like to have that area planned out first. Uh, so once I know that I'm gonna have crops up here, I can go ahead and put in a water well down here, um, which I know will give me 11 production. And then I can go up here and I can see, oh, I can get a 10 here or a nine Oh, if I go up here, I'm going into the crop fields. Uh, so that just helps me uh, initially. We'll put in more water wells as soon as, oh, like here's an 11 right here. I know I can put in this 11 water well right here and it's not gonna interfere in my crop layouts. So that is why I do that. Uh, we'll be putting in more wells shortly, but this is gonna be built. So we'll have that. There's our water taken care of. We have three crop fields so that's our food uh, shelter now the burial pits 
are the exact size building as a tenement. So I use this to kind of lay out where I'm gonna want our per permanent housing. And I have spots, who knows how much of this will build. Um, but I have spots up here for a block of six tenements over here. And then we're gonna go, we can go ahead and fit another two along this side. So I'm kind of earmarking that and I'm not gonna build in those areas just because I know I'm kind of earmarking that space for uh, tenements once we can build them. Now that I know where I don't want to build, I can go ahead and put in our emergency shelters. Uh, I think we'll just go ahead and put them along this road right here. That seems fine. Sure. Um, with the colony update, not that it matters, they added a small unhappiness boost to these emergency shelters and since they added that kind of debuff plus the fact that resources aren't limited anymore I'm no longer keeping our population in a uh, intense uh, our housing of choice is the tenements just because they house eight people for a decent amount of resources and they don't um, cause a population explosion so we have food water housing and i'm going to increase the priority on these buildings because i have so many roads laid out and whatnot i want that to be the focus um, i have a shed a tool shop and a tailor i have our scrapper and recycler uh, in places i move the scrapper and recycler because um because they're next to like kind of the deserty areas and that's where you would want to put your machines so usually i have them kind of i would put them close to these piles like i might put one like right here and right here keep them right in town but i move them out just a bit just because there's this is largely like not sandy ground this has a huge t piles of toxic waste on this side so we're not going to be able to build over there for a while so that's why i put those there uh, the tools, I put them close to the warehouse, which are where they're stored. And I left a spot right here. I carefully laid this out. What's also the width of the burial pit is the cookhouse. So I have a, um, a spot for our cookhouse laid out right here where that is going to go. And you'll see all that later. But I think we're ready to uh, to start building. The only thing we need is we need to earmark some resources. And this also lets me know where I want to uh, pull our resources from. Like which areas first. Um, we want to get those. I guess we're just going to go ahead. Yeah, why am I even going to overthink this? Let's... Uh, Let's get this pile going. Sure, let's get those resources going first. I also have some more stockpiles up here that we'll use um, as we go along uh, to gather the target, the resources that we need. With the changing of our priority, if you build your well um, we got lucky we have a decent enough spot right here for water right close to our base but if say we had to go out here um, for a good spot to start water um, we would want to increase that priority to make sure that we got water before we ran out now we're gonna do one harvest of or one field of corn two of potatoes and as soon as they're done planting these, they'll go ahead and start gathering uh, resources, which is fine. Now, what comes next? Next, we want the scrapper. So we need 10 concrete and 12 planks. So we're still looking for a mix of everything. And you know what? There's planks and concrete already in this range of these stockpiles. So we're going to go ahead and leave them like that. This one is not gathering anything, I don't think. Let's go ahead and do that down like that which is good. Two colonists are homeless. Get to building your shelter and you won't be. There's our water, so we're positive there. Uh, very shortly, we're gonna wanna sink another well. 
uh, in order to kind of uh, disaster proof ourselves. So let's look for our next well. And I think Uh, yeah, we want to go. We are going to put a well right here eventually, not now. We have other things more important. They did a good bit day's work here. There's the food, the water, the shelters. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we can uh, start working on metal. 12 and 10 we have the resources for that and for plastic we need 16 and 8 so once we uh, gather some more we'll open up our plastic it's going well I'm increasing the priority on these buildings because you can see that they're building these roads which I don't mind because they're collecting resources throughout the whole all of these camps so more roads will increase their productivity so I don't mind that and now let's set our sights on some. We are going to clean up this pile first just to get it out of the middle of our uh, camp. And there's a road coming down the center here, so that shouldn't be too bad for them. And we are going to go ahead. We'll just let them get along with that. And now do we have enough for this 16 and 8? We do. So let's increase the priority to high and resume that. And we'll start collecting some plastic. And now we took like a three, I don't know, like two or three episodes in the first playthrough to get through <laughs> to this point. But now we're ready for the gate. Which we want to pause. And along with the gate, we want to build a first aid insufficient materials for the gate I know that and the plastic do we want to get this pile of plastic or just let them go and deplete that one that's like right next to them I think I think we want them to come delete this one just so we have this area to build in do we need to build in this area We need our first aid huts. We need a spot for our first aid huts. So again, I'm going to, even though these, that one would be faster to gather, let's move our plastic down here so they can get this cleared out of here, which is good. And we need a spot for our first aid tent, our line of first aid tents. And I think we're just gonna go ahead and, medical tents is what they're called. I think we're just gonna put one right here and we can go down this way, and if that plastic deposit gets filled up, we can uh, put them behind it. Yeah, so let's just go right here. We are still on the uh, low on food. Oh, I forgot to get berries. Whoops, my bad. Everyone is going to die, and it's going to be all my fault. Um... Go get those berries. It's a high priority or less you're going to die. I can't believe I forgot about collecting berries. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, I know, but it's... Pause, so don't tell me that. Okay, uh, what do we need? 12 and 10. 20, 15 and 10. So we're going to need a little bit more planks. Do we still have some of those queued up? No, we do not. So let's do that. Let's move this area right here. And let's get some more planks and concrete coming in. Which are good. And let's get some more berries. These berries look good. Hopefully no one's gonna die. Does this all look good? Everyone is sleeping? 
Except for you, you fine folks over here, having fun. You should go to bed. And what do we need for our first aid? Uh, 10 and 12. What do we need for our gate? 20, 15, 15 and five. Let's do our gate because we have everything and let's increase the priority to high. So hopefully they'll, uh, they'll prioritize doing that over like building roads and stuff. And I know we're low on food. Mistakes were made, but it'll be okay. Don't anybody panic. Don't anybody die. <laughs> More to the point. <laughs> and two more plastic and we'll start building our first aid hut. Our medical tent. What is that? 10, 12, and 6. Yeah. Take a look at the little shanty. There's a lot of snoring and hanging out. Not a lot of constructing. How are our crops doing? Waiting for a worker to harvest, good. So we should stop starving soon. We have some berries and we have a harvest ready, so yeah. Hopefully no one will die. Colonists wanna talk? I bet you do, you're hungry, huh? Now we're never gonna give them tools and clothing. Um, what's gonna happen is they're gonna come back hurt and sick, uh, but that is fine. We'll let them be that. Two colonists infected, that increased the urgency of our uh, uh, medical tent here. But it's fine, we have the materials. Um, so as soon as people decide to, to work, that should happen for us. Um, since we do have the materials, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, let's close down our, our plastic and metal for the next little bit. So we, oh, there's our gate. I was gonna say, so we could get these things built. More people? And who is gonna be our first person? Kate. Kate, two, four, research. No attack, uh, but that's fine. Yes, please come in. We'll, we'll happily take your uh, eight potatoes and four protein bars. I hear people are hungry here. <laughs> Okay, let us the, let's get Kate on her way. Now, the only thing that we are looking for is science. That is it. We are not gonna stop to pick up any materials at all. Science is our only, only thing here. There we go, that is high. Um, and now let's get us some more water in here. So if we get a Disaster, we can survive that. You can see we only have one water in reserve, so we're probably gonna need another well after this. 10 and six, we have enough for that. So let's get that going. Uh, what else do we want here? Two, six and six, we probably just have enough. Let's get our warehouse up and running. Um, we still have a little bit of while on the tools, but not much longer. We want the ability to uh, gather those ourselves. Um, let's, let's move this road, build this road out to this concrete deposit and we'll start bringing in that because we're gonna need more. So let's move that work area. Let's make it smaller and that's good we're up 12 well water we probably want to get another well soon because while we can survive any disaster we only have enough water uh, for one more colonist so uh so we'll probably want another well soon depleted the berries 
Research, please. Good job. And we have 398 research, which is nice. So what we are going to do here is demolish. Select next, none, select next, none. And our first bit of research that we're gonna go for is food. We're going to go for communal eating and advanced farming with our first, first bit. And we should probably have more berries coming in in the meantime though. Um, Let's bring in those berries. We have these materials coming in, which is good. Yeah, I like it. We're off to a fine start. There's our warehouse. Clothes look like the next urgent issue. Uh, 10, oh, but we need to put people back on plastic and metal. So let's do that. Is everybody healed? You can come out of there for now. Good, good. I think we can speed this back up. We're waiting for our first disaster. We should find out uh, what that is gonna be soon. Wandering merchant, yes please. Uh, we have nothing, we have no fish for research, cloth for metal, venison for medicine, uh, 10 metal for eight coats. Do we want to do that? No, no we do not. Well, that would be five tools, the equivalent of five tools for uh, 16 cloth. Maybe we, no, no deal. It wasn't a clear benefit, so, so we're not, we didn't do that. 250 big research at a time, that is good for us. Oh, that's really nice. So the first thing that we're gonna want is communal eating, and then our next go, we'll get the advanced farming. Um. Yeah. Now with this, this is actually pretty interesting. Do you know how we have the um, people prefer to eat the, like the raw food over the mixed meals it seems? Um, here is something that I found that works out really great. If you have your farming areas, your food away from the center of town, where you have people living, um, they'll go ahead and eat the mixed meals because that's gonna be the only thing in this food hut. If we put in some food storage close to where these fields are, and it is, uh, it works out rather nice. So we're gonna, I don't know if this is gonna work out here because it seems pretty close together, uh, but we want to put in some food storage close to these fields in a good spot. I'm not sure where would be a good spot though. Let's pause this for a second. We also want a trapper in order to get in some some venison you know what I have these you were doing that come get this pile of planks out of here we need those done 
and I think where are we going to put our trapper? Because that's going to determine where we put our This would be 100%. These trees right here, do you see all of those green spots? Like they have the size of those trees, I'm sure. So when the map generates, like they're kind of like sparse and not overcrowded, you know, just these like sticky trees. But because of that, it means that the trappers think that there's abundance of trees there. So that is what's going on with that. Um, I think I think we're going to put our trapper I think we'll put a food hut over here I think we'll put our food hut right here and then we'll put the trapper right next to it as soon as those planks are depleted would be good for me very nice and now let's get those large fields we wanted. Good. And it's probably gonna take them a while to uh, catch up and do what I want. And now the next 100 points in research that we get um, is gonna go to communal living. So we can build tenements. The next 200 will go to education so we can build schools. And then we're gonna go one more down this uh, row for paved roads. So what, four, five, our next 550 uh, science points are kind of earmarked already, already spent. And I think we might need another another food hut over here to keep people out of town is a possibility. But all of that can wait, we'll see. I'm going to move this, unselect that, so they stop taking, um, so they kind of get what I want done in town here faster. More research, please. Uh, go over there. Good, thank you. And now how are we gonna get these people to do what I want? I think the quickest way Let's close this stuff again so we get more people and now we have okay these are harvested so let's demolish all of this and we can build our farm fields perhaps here's the moment of truth there's one there's two Oh, and it looks like it, I could only fit a medium field over here, which is fine. A medium field, and we are going to have two corn and two potato. Next will be corn. Still looking for science. And she is not a fighter, so we're probably going to not bother trying to beat these people down. But we'll see what happens. And this is going to be a potato. Is everyone healed? You are? I wish the first aid workers would also work as gatherers when they were done. Uh, but that does not appear to be what happens. Now, what do we have here?
you are doing those planks, which I want, so I'm not going to queue up anything else until those planks are done. So we can get this finished. And do we need to gather those berries? I don't think we do. Let's move this work area smaller. Three deposits are depleted. Well, looks like you're going that way. We're trying not to waste any turns. All we want is uh, research. And as soon as these people are done with these uh, cultivating these fields, if I was desperate for food, I could um, go ahead and uh, fill in these work slots so more people would plant. But we're doing absolutely fine, so that's not a concern. Uh, what is, though, we still have don't have these buildings built. 6, 10, and 29. You know, if they run out, that's not the end of the world. I'd rather get our trapper up and running. That's stupid. Don't run out of clothes. Let's resume that and let them build. Kate? I want more research, please. Components, that's great. Um, the things that we're looking for, we're ignoring every single thing on this map except for right now, research. And then eventually, the only thing we'll be looking for is things to for our power grid, so components and bolts. It's all part of a master plan here. Are those planks gone? They are. So let's see if we can fit our fourth field in. Boom. Very good. Taylor is complete. Let's get our... Pandemic is going to be the first disaster. And here is... We only have 10 colonists. And I could build another medical tent to make sure that we're not going to lose anybody. Uh, but I'm not going to. We're going to accept these folks um, just because we could use the help. And they also have, this is nice, they have a big supply of tools and uh, meat, so that's really good for us. Um, I could build another tent to ensure that no one dies, uh, but I'm not going to. It's, um, so we might be building a burial pit, and I'm fine with that. Or it could, it could all work out. I mean, we only have 12 people, so, and we want, what, another potato? So now we have that. Let's put in our, the last of our food. is going to be a trapper. And we'll put that right next to 100% efficiency, six and 12, good. And that is gonna be the last of our food for, I don't know, like I don't think we're gonna need to do anything else more with our food. We'll put in our cookhouse and yeah, it's all good. I'm glad you're here, Kate. Find us some more research. Ah, there we go. Ooh. Uh, but we're going to take it. Two, two skulls, though, so it might take her a while. At least she was a good research, so she's going to give us 250 a pop. So, so hopefully we'll be able to get some of that. Let's slow this down here and see where we're at. We have five people, a pandemic on the way, which means we need another water well. When people are sick, they drink more water. So let's, let us do that. Uh, oh, and here we have a 10 right here. Is this in the way of anything? Let's see. Well, here is, oh, this is a 10.
And that is a 10. Where would we like one? Uh, let's put it... I think this is going to be the least likely place to interfere with anything, right? Or probably on this side. Is that a 10? Oh, that's a zero. That's a 10. Let's just put it over there. Oh no, we don't have the materials for that. What do we need? 10 concrete? And concrete, huh? Let us move that there. Let's get people back in our metal and plastic. Let's see who's at the gate. Open the gate and let the wanderer in. We're going to either get another colonist or he's going to steal our potatoes. Another colonist. That is fine. Colonist is homeless. Oh, it's a good thing we found that research. You're going to stay homeless for a while, guy. So this is taking 30 points of her health. That's okay. So we can, uh, we can collect all of that research without her uh, dying. So that is good for us. What is not good is we need more basic materials. Boom. School and tenements. We're zipping right along here. Uh, but water is very important. This should bring us uh, to double our population's water supply, which is good with the pandemic on the way. And then we start we need uh, to start building tenements. 25 wood. We need to up our uh, resource gathering here. Along with, let's build a sawmill. Fourteen, eight, and four. Oh, that's a forester. Durder. Sawmill. Six, six, and ten. Good. Where do we want? Well, we really don't want it to uh, tear down the... Let us, we're gonna need a logging camp for the cookhouse. So it only makes sense to put that on this road here. And then, yeah, then we'll put the forester back this way. And can we fit a stockpile in the middle of them? We can. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna bring in more of those resources, but in the meantime, we still need more. So let's get, let's get all of these uh, things working for us. Let's bring in that concrete. bring in that planks looking good right besides you know the homeless and the several resources lacking <laughs> besides that everything's good it's fine it's just growing pains Nice, 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 nice. Let's see. 
and here we go now we have brick roads so we're going to want to redo all of these roads we do not need anyone building coats right now because that last group of people brought in a good pile of stuff um, George is homeless but if someone dies yay George won't be homeless anymore um, but other than that we have people out gathering the resources we have all of our people on our fields oh these little kids need a school <laughs> how many children do we have we have two children as soon as we get everybody in houses and these buildings built you guys can go to school we opened up our medical tent we have those we have we're, we have increased water consumption, but we still have a 12 water surplus, so we're doing absolutely fine. Now, I'm not sure if we went over this or not, but I'm sure we did. Uh, these water towers, they deplete so fast that it, they're, not, they're not useful at all. Um, and they cost six more metal than a water well, so six wood, 10 concrete. These cost 10 wood and six concrete plus six metal. Um, they're useless in a, an emergency because you have to have so many of them. So since nothing shuts down our water supply, we opt to just overbuild our wells instead of trying to uh, have reserves. Oh, you're good. 40 health? It's plenty. And we have another 286 research. We have our communal eating for our cookhouse. We have our large farm fields. We have our tenements, school, and brick roads. So now we have a choice. We can be kind of frivolous and go down the barding route to put in our trade center, or we can start immediately on energy production. And honestly, I think we're gonna go with uh, bartering just because uh, it's going to be so long. It's a uh, day 11. We only have one specialist. It's going to be so long before we can get into ener energy production. I'm just going to go for, you know, fun stuff. Let's get our trade center. And now, with everything else that we go, we'll go ahead and uh, all of our other points are going to go into production. Right? Right. Three colonists are infected. We have two people in here healing, so hopefully um, it'll be relatively fast and everyone will come out alive. If not, you know, that's okay. I'm not, I don't feel like building multiple um, tents just for, you know, to save one of these people. <laughs> I don't know, is that, uh, is that awful? No, it's not awful. Oh, we have our trapper up and running. So that is good. So we have some meat coming in, uh, but we still don't have a cookhouse, but we're really, we're loose. We're, we don't have that many materials here. We're working on it though. 14, six and five. We can build this. We have our logging camp in. It's a, uh, Let's move our logging camp. Oh, you know what? Let's move our logging camp down the... It doesn't matter. Let's get all the trees in the middle of town here. We want that, but really we need a, a tenement first, don't we? So let's do that. 25, 14, and 12. We just have enough. So let's start putting in our tenements, which we already have earmarked in spots. Good. You go there. Keep looking, Kate. No cockroaches. Four colonists are infected. That's bad. Considering they're not treating anybody at all. We might be making a burial pit, but that's fine. 
We accepted the possibility. Do they have all the materials here? We're still waiting on concrete. Let's increase that to high. Still got a poor homeless guy sleeping. <laughs> George was very glad to join the colony. George, I've been out there and there doesn't appear to be any other settlements around, so it might seem bad for you, but build your house and you'll be good. I like to see that. Two colonists are infected, so it, we might be treating people. Oh, nobody's in here. Strange noises. Oh no, we don't have the fish. We could have had 177 research. Now we do have water on the map. Where is a lake? We have water over here, but I mean, we do not have the population to send people out there yet. Get in the tenement built. Pandemic is over. Our water is good. The next thing that we want is 14. Yeah, I think the next this is the next thing we want. Let's get our sawmill. And now we want to get this cookhouse too, because that is um that is causing people to have to go all the way over here to get food when they're hungry. So we want to get this cookhouse in. We have a tenement cookhouse. And one, two, three. Oh, I messed this up. Oh well. One, two, three. Right there. I guess we'll pause that until we get the materials. Kate, how you doing? Um, Kate, let's start heading back towards home. Components, nice. We want those. Maybe, maybe we'll uh, start picking up a little bit of components because these, there's no danger here and it'll be nice to have them. Maybe we'll pick up some, I'm not sure. Really though, we want the science, right? Science is the, is the plan. Oh, what else did we get? We got uh, no free carriers left. Here, have some more. So now we're bringing in planks. Clear all that out, guy. Survivors, yes, please, bring a specialist. Pink man, it's been so long, good to see you. Um, four attack, five scavenge, you're a good guy. Yeah, absolutely. Welcome to the colony. It's so, so good to see you all. So let's see. Let's slow this down here. Oh, we don't have any homeless because we just got we just got that tenement built. Uh, let's send Pink Man out to find out what these guys have. But he can explore on his way. good and we really we really just need the materials to keep coming in hopefully hopefully that'll happen for us 
let's put in our we're gonna put in our brick roads um, now that we have Pinkman here let's we'll let her pick up some of those but really exploring we want the science So let's uh let's uh figure out our roads here as uh, messed up as they are out to there sure this looks like a main thoroughfare the roads over to our farming district for sure All the brick roads. Could you take care of that for me? Thank you. Do we need roads up there? Probably not. And you know what? Sure, why not? Let's just go. Keep going. So in short order, all of our roads will be brick. We want our cookhouse. Do we have the materials for that yet? 14, no, we do not. 14 wood. Let's put another person. Oh, you idiot. I built a forester and not a sawmill. Did you guys see that happening? I bet you did. Uh, well, that's frustrating. Where do we have... I can't see because it's nighttime and there's that fog. Well, sure. Build a... Plant trees there. Fourteen, and we don't have enough to build this now, but you know what? We need it. Rip. I don't want, I wanted the forester, or the sawmill on that spot, because it was perfect. The little stockpile. Oh. Oh, and it won't fit. <laughs> this game's trying to tell me something it's trying to tell me we've been playing for an hour and it's time to stop uh, but I'm having fun so yeah we're not stopping won't stop looks good to me okay specialists what are you doing you're coming home, looking for research. You are going to beat people up. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna send you a waste of turn going out of your way to beat people up. We'll keep having to explore and fight along the way. We have a children growing up uneducated But it is what it is. We still don't have our tool house built or our cook house. And planks are the problem. Come on, sawmill, we're counting on you. Do good things. Almost. Huzzah! Let there be planks. Let's move this work, water, work area right here, nice and close. And where is the closest? Let's get them a stockpile.
right there. Good. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Another 362 research. Good deal. Okay. Two people working on the plank situation. Let's get the food because that's going to boost productivity if they can just come right here and get their food. So let's do that. Food next. You... Uh, come out this way, guy, for some logs. Why do we have insufficient materials? We have enough materials. Why are you lying, game? Are you going to have to fight? You can do it. Good job. You almost killed these people. 150 research. Where? We might as well just have him come out and do it. By the time we brought her over here, I mean. There's no point. I think. I think is that answer to that. Some planks. Injured. We're bringing in concrete. We're bringing in nothing over here. Bring in those 20 planks, please. We're bringing in concrete. Bring in those Planks, please. So we have a steady supply of materials coming in. The cookhouse is now up and running. Let's change this to mixed meals, which are good. And let's get our tool shed built. Yeah. Can you kill him? Try. Good job. And coats. Coats are nice for later. Pick us up some research. Okay, now. We have uh, children growing up without an education and this cannot be. So we need, we need a school. How much does a school cost? 16 wood, 10 concrete, and 14 metal. We have enough for a school. Um, do we want to put the kids out by the road so they can play in traffic? Oh, you know what else we also need? We also need a... Still 31. We need a, um, a trading center. Dan, man. Do we have any corn for Dan? Uh, probably not. Do we care? Are we going to try and gather up this corn that we have? We have 147 coin. Um, do we try? I think we do. Be work area. Come back here. We're gonna pull in all of these, all of these carrier like resource jobs. 
and that is going to mean that all of our carriers and farm workers aren't going to have any other choice but to bring in uh, to bring in the crops. That's what that means. Now is that everything? Everything is being good. All hinds on deck. Dan, the corn man, is here. And we would like to trade if we can. So get to it. Bring in the crops, guys. I'll be back to check on you. Yes, please. We still have a little bit of time. Let's speed this up and see if we can get anybody racing to bring in the corn. Look at that. No corn, though. Pick up the belts. We have 147 corn in the colony. We just need people to bring it in. Oh, they're breaking it all the way over here, which means people are eating it. Oh. We're going to put, we're going to switch these around. We're going to need another hut, which means that this is probably going to need to be destroyed. Because the corn is going over here and we know that every, oh, I did all this for nothing. We missed Dan. Oh, well, we'll be ready for him next time. Let's put... Let's put a food, food storage hut right here, and hopefully that will stop everybody from bringing the corn into town. Perhaps. Maybe, or maybe not. Our plans were ruined. Okay, we have everything here. We need people to... Mm, but we really don't have the uh, people for it. Let's put somebody there. We don't need two people on our sawmill any longer. Let's put people back to gathering resources. You can get those planks. You can bring in those concrete and planks. And that's good for resources. We're getting mixed meals in our food storage, so they're gonna have no choice but to eat those. Good, good. Okay, specialists. I am, I am talking to you. Come explore, please. Bandit camp. The last of the research here. Good job. And we have brick roads. We just reconfigured our storage to hopefully mean that we'll get some uh, crops over here and people won't eat them raw they'll prefer to come over here for the mixed meals hopefully no guarantee but that's what we're aiming for we have two two specialist buildings that we do not have yet we have the trade center Which, sure, I guess we're just going to plonk, plonk in right here. Go for it. How much is that? 10, 5, 20, and 10. That's fine. And now we need a school as well.
where do we want a school? Well, we know we're putting apartment buildings over here. Can we squeeze a school in over on this side, maybe on the opposite side of this slime pile? Let's tuck our school right back over here. Right back over there. Yes, I like that. That's good. I am talking to you. More cockroaches. You have a, you have a way about you, Kate. Oh, nice. How lucky is that? Well, it's really, it's really not luck. Um, it's because we did not pick up any coats, any cockroaches, any pills, components, metal, all of this good stuff uh, that we could absolutely use. Uh, we did not pick up any of that. So it, it's really not luck. It's that we focused entirely on looking for research is why we're getting that. People are healed. What are you missing? No, we have everything. I don't know why you keep saying this. It must be, I must have materials on the ground over here that they're not um, putting in. And magnetic storms, they're nothing. We don't have power yet. They're not picking up these resources to uh, put them in the stockpiles is what's happening with the resources right now. We have our uh, trade center up. A little majestic deer uh, which means that we'll have big trade available to us an odd bandit six components uh, yes please yeah we're gonna trade this for six components even though materials are still rare uh, we're gonna want the components later so yeah we'll do that now, all of a sudden, we have four people. I don't know how that... I, we must be having bad kids grow up without being educated. One child left. By the time we get the school up, we're not going to need it. There was our forester experiment. This tree is like a marker of our folly there. Um, I'm assuming that they'll eventually... Maybe they'll, you know, have the foresters grow appropriate trees, like... <laughs> instead of pine trees it'd be interesting ready for action uh sure keep coming out here Kate bandit camp lovely science you just gotta you know kill them first you know are we really the good guys <laughs> <laughs> that we, you know, this guy is standing here. He was at the observatory. I mean, are we in the right here? Probably not. Looking all quiet. 17 mixed meals. Let's increase the priority on that school. Maybe it'll happen for us. They're still not picking up these materials over here from that stockpile we deleted. You are out of trees. Um, you can cut. You can chop down these trees. As our Trapper, our trapper is still at 100% efficiency. He's using these like little clump of trees over here. So we need to uh, not chop those down for him. Although you can move the area. So if we inadvertently do chop down his trees, like we can move his area and it'll be fine. You are sick, but I left somebody in the medical tent. So that's fine. You're out of plastic. That is brilliant because you know what that means? 
it means it's not in town any longer. So come right out here. That'll be good for you. Let's extend your road. Sure. Extend yours. Ready for action? Kate, what are you doing? Let's scroll out so we can see. More components, which will be really nice for when we are ready to get them. See how much science we're getting, Pinkman. 443. Very nice. Very nice. School is almost built. Um, we are going to double up on our scrapper just so we can get this trash pile out of the middle of town. You can come out of there so we have free carriers. We want to get in another well. Yes, we want another well. We have our school in place. You need more trees. There's your new uh, area to deforest. But I think, I think this is absolutely a place to stop. The video has gone on long enough. We have a, a really nice start to the game here. We have our trade center for big business. We finally have a school up and running. Um, we're able to produce clothes and tools. We're bringing in the plastic and metal. We have a cookhouse. Our food is just brilliant. People are eating our mixed meals. Do you see that? We used to have them stacked to the ceiling, but now because people live right here, they grab the mixed meals out of that, which is working out brilliantly. Uh, we have a pile of research that we're ready to spend. Um, I had the brilliant idea of putting two people on that scrapper, but we obviously need our medical tent uh, up and running here. So the irradiated folk can go be treated. Uh, but this is a really good uh, stopping place. Thank you uh, so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you'll leave a like. If you did, uh, do you want to see more of this town? Do you want to see more of the last town? I am not sure. Uh, I think you guys might be done with uh, surviving the aftermath. Uh, so totally up to you. If you want to see more, let me know. Leave a like. Uh, but that is all for now. I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.